and welcome to each one of you today. Today the message is going to be a little special. I would like to come back to the feasts of uh, Saint Monica and Augustine. When I was uh, reading about both of them, I saw many, many mothers on this earth that lived the same thing as Monica lived. And I was thinking about how Jesus reacts when he sees a, mom, a mother crying. And <clears throat> first thing, when Jesus left this earth, he said, Behold, I am with you always to the close of the age. I am with you to console you, to teach you, to, to help you, but also to console you. And another passage in the Gospel where we see the tender heart of Jesus. At the cross, he knew he was dying, and he saw his mother there crying. And he looked at John, and he said to John, Behold your mother. Take care of her. Take care of her and also console her. And this brings us back to the gospel that we had, the reading we had on the feast day of Santa Monica, Monica, <clears throat> when the Jesus raises, rises a widow's son at Naim. He saw this woman coming in the city and there was a large crowd, and she was a widower, and um, her son, her only son, just passed away. So naturally, she was crying. And Jesus looked at her with compassion, and he said to her, Do not weep. Do not weep. And at the same time, he stopped everybody and he said, Young man, I say to you, arise. And again, the dead man sat up and he gave him to his mother. This is how Jesus, a few passages where Jesus received his tender heart for mothers. <clears throat> And I was praying and I was saying to Jesus, you know, Jesus, there's Monica who had, uh, Monica who had uh, her, her uh, son, Augustine, and she cried a lot for him. But there are many mothers in the world today that have sons and daughters, Augustine, Augustina. What would you say to each mother? What would you say to maybe a father also who's crying? Courage, courage. I see your tears and I want to cry with you. Come to me, don't cry alone. Come to me, don't stay alone. I will console you and console <clears throat> by the Lord doesn't mean that the Lord will fix everything, that he will change everything in the life of our daughter, of our son. But Jesus will give us the strength. He will give us a new strength to carry this burden that's so heavy. And Jesus understands us. And he can say to a mother, to a father, you know, when I looked at Jerusalem, remember, I also cried on that city. I saw all those little sheep without any pastors. And I saw also all the shepherds that weren't looking after the sheep. And I saw all these people that I had helped and who were forgetting 
their Father in heaven. I cried. I cried very much. So your tears, with my tears, are the victory over death. <clears throat> and when Jesus looks at our Augustine or Augustina, he tells us again, you know, your child is searching. Your child is weak. He's trying. He falls. He tries to get back again on his feet, but he falls again. He's not bad. She's not bad, but they're so weak. And one thing that could help you very much is your rosary. You know a rosary, if you saw a little bit of movies about cowboys if you're my age, what does this look like? Well, also, you can say your rosary hoping to reach your child. You can say your rosary and here you have a nice ladder and your child would be going up and going up and going up to heaven. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. And to finish today, I'd just like to tell you a little story of your child, when your child will be getting to heaven. Maybe St. Peter will read his big book, as we say, and say, I'm not sure if you can come in, Augustine. I'm not sure, Augustina, if you can come in. No, I don't think so. And then next morning, St. Peter goes to see Jesus and says to Jesus, what is Augustine doing in heaven? What is Augustina doing in heaven? And Jesus just looks at Peter and says, well, Peter, I know you closed the door, but at midnight, my mother opens all the windows. So they came in with the help of Mary. I can't say anything against that. So courage. Jesus wants to console you, and I hope he will, and I hope he's doing it now. And just stay faithful to your rosary. And we'll see at the end what Mary has done for your child. You'll be together with him in heaven. The Lord says to each parent calling you Jerusalem in the book of Barak at the chapter 5, Take off the garment of your sorrow and affliction, O Jerusalem, and put on forever the beauty of the glory of God. Arise, O Jerusalem, stand upon the height and look towards the east and see your children gathered from the west and the east at the word of the Holy One rejoicing that God has remembered them.